Hey guys, Dave here from Wolf in the Wild Survival. And I've got something here that's pretty darn interesting. And uh, I think that um, a lot of people would like to know about uh, what I've got here. And you'll find out why, if you don't already know, in just a quick second. Uh, let me turn this camera around and show you what I found. So these little guys here are called the Eastern Red Spotted Newt. I'm going to put them down on a, whoop, on a rock here. And I'll show you this guy here is kind of a light in color. Usually they're the guy here. I know there's at least one there. They're like a fiery color almost. A couple of teeny tiny little ones. Now these are generally very, very small animals. And I should not be touching these things because they are very toxic. Um, people have put these things in buckets with some water and dogs have drank the water and died. They've also put these things in uh, like aquariums or vivariums with turtles and the turtles have died. In addition to that, Just touching one isn't necessarily dangerous in and of itself, but people have touched these things and then hours later, like rubbed their eyes and it's made them go blind, sometimes permanently. Rarely, but sometimes. If also, if you have the secretions of this thing's skin and you're eating with your hands, you could get very, very sick. They're all taken off back for cover <laughs> pretty pretty quickly some of them at least um, this is not something that you want to play with now they honestly do seem like kind of cute little creatures they really do but they are very 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 toxic and I have to go wash my hands uh, very quickly in, in the pond and then uh, when I get home I have to really thoroughly wash them with soap and water so that I don't accidentally uh, poison myself with the secretions from their skin. I'm willing to take that chance to help you guys because I, I do kind of know what I'm doing and what I'm dealing with. I'm willing to take that chance so that some of you out there uh, don't have to suffer uh, any of those effects. Uh, but I don't recommend playing around with them at all. Another interesting thing about the Eastern Red Spotted Newt is what I just showed you, okay, these little creatures right here, they're really dark in color now because it's still pretty cold where I am, but they do lighten up when they're, when they're warm. This is called the Red Eft Stage. Now what normally happens is like all newts, these guys are born in a, a aquatic environment. They have an aquatic phase that's juvenile, but then they turn into these guys, these tiny little guys, which are roughly about half the size of the aquatic phase. So they do reduce in size, but eventually when they reach full adulthood, they become their adult aquatic stage and they live out the rest of their life like that. So these guys are still basically juveniles. They're not adults yet. When they reach adulthood, they turn back into aquatic animals. And, <laughs> well, and they return to the, the, the pond. Um, not necessarily the pond that they're born in, and this is kind of how they spread. They're born in one pod, they reach their terrestrial stage, they travel to other ponds where they turn back into aquatic species and, uh, or aquatic creatures, whatever. And, uh, you know, they, they multiply from there. So that's more or less how they spread from pond to pond to pond. Oh, so very, very, very interesting. They're kind of uncommon in my area. We don't see them too, too often. But uh, 
I thought you guys would uh, would would like seeing those, and I would really, really hope that one day maybe somebody sees one of those things and and is cautious enough not to play with them, because um, you wouldn't expect a tiny little thing like that to be so toxic, but they really, really are. <sighs> So that is the Eastern Red Spotted Newt. We'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay wild.